Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> We're back oh, with our first ever uh, podcast. Yeah, this theme music is crazy. Yeah, you know, I feel like this is what uh, people used to fuck to in movies when they didn't want to pay <laughs> the royalties for the actual song for people to fuck to. They're like, just put on this. You know, fuck, this reminds me of, like, uh, I used to do guitar competitions oh. when I was a kid, and you would have to, like, solo over a horrible song <laughs> that, like, yeah. the guitar teacher made on, like, a four-track with a drum machine, and they all would be shit like this, and you'd be like, wow, yeah. wanna, wanna, <laughs> wanna, 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 All right. It kind of reminds me of like an 80s movie where maybe they had gotten their friend back and now they're <laughs> heading home and they're like, things are going to be okay. Things are going to be okay till the ODs. Wow. All right. We are, are welcome to our podcast. We don't even know what the fuck we're going to call it yet. We have a few ideas. One that we had yesterday was uh, before uh, men had feelings. Right, before but, men had feelings. But we're worried that that might be kind of uh, misleading because we have feelings. We do have feelings. Yeah, we were uh, born, I think, right at the cutoff yeah. of when men started to be allowed to have feelings. Back. Right, but our dads definitely had no well, feelings. My dad did have feelings. He though. did have feelings? He did, though. How did like, he sneak in there? I don't know, man. I think it's because he's the only Democrat in South Dakota. Oh, well, that'll <laughs> that'll do it. They'll beat the feelings into him. Yeah, no, I think... I'm uh, surprised they didn't beat the feelings out. I remember having my heart broke one time by a girl, and my mom told my dad to come in and deal with me. And my dad just sat down on, like, my brother's bed. And he was like, so that uh, relationship didn't work out? And I was like, no. And he goes, uh, there'll be more. And then he patted me on the leg and walked out. Wow. I mean, that sounds like feelings, though. <laughs> it sounds like he was forced to do it. He wasn't like, let's talk about it. There was none of that. It was as short as possible. Well, what the fuck would your... <laughs> so what would you have wanted? Like, if your oh, dad I... had more feelings, <laughs> like, how would that situation have gone down? Like, more uh, than... A, like, would he have come in and put his arm, like, straight around you? Oh, the, like a, an immediate side hug? I mean, it might have been... Nice. Or maybe opened up and be like, you know what happened to me? Yeah. Like something where he's like, this happened to me. But instead it was always like, this never happened to me because I'm a man and you just dream of potentially being one. Oh, all right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so your dad is like, uh, you know, grow the fuck up. Yeah. All right. Get back out there. I mean, I think that's a good uh, pet talk, pep talk. You know, for, based on some people I know whose dads don't have feelings, they would kill for a oh. moment like that. <laughs> They'd be like, holy okay. shit, your dad touched your leg. Where did he touch your leg, by the way? Oh, it's just above the knee. It was like a pat. You know, oh, it was a pat. All yeah, right. just a pat. Like, you got it. Above well, actually, knee. it would have been side, like sciatica. So, like, like that. So, whatever. Do you want to? Will you do it to me right now? You want me will to give pat, you a little? Will you pat little, my leg okay. like how your dad right. patted your leg? So I'm gonna. I'm now going to approach you and let you know that uh, I know there's been a lot of upsetting issues around the podcast and whether it's going to work out. But uh, there's a lot of podcasts out there. Oh, all right. So he comes in with kind of a scoop tap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's almost like it's almost like a good job champ butt pat. It's like yeah. if you if you, you know, didn't disappoint him in a sport. Right. It's an attaboy, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's an attaboy, but safe safe on the side. Like there's no sexual in in your window right there. Okay. I feel like we should maybe tell people why we're sitting in this kitchen. Oh, yeah, we are. Doing this podcast, how we know each other. I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, you, so you called me yesterday, which was ironic because I was contemplating starting a podcast and you were like, hey, I think I just want to do this. And I'd been running through some issues of like, I don't know, downtimes where I was like missing everybody, hadn't been able to get out, lots of things going on. And I think we agreed that a lot of this podcast was just getting together and hanging out and having a reason to do this. Yeah, and the whole reason that we know each other is because how many years ago was this? Six years ago? Yeah, 2016. 2016, I had a room open and I had lightly started to sprinkle the words around the city. I wasn't going to be like, hey, Facebook, who the fuck wants to live with me or whatever, because that's terrifying. Right. If 
by the way, 2016, using Facebook. And, uh, yeah, and so I'd sprinkle it around, and then my friend uh, Nathan Lund, uh, he hit me up, and he goes, hey, I know this guy, AJ Finney. He's a bit of a hippie. Yeah. <laughs> but he's thinking about moving to Colorado, and I think you guys would get along. So then I called uh, my other friend Sam, and I was like, hey, Sam, do you know – this AJ Finney guy, and he goes, he's the funniest person in Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a huge compliment, and then all of a sudden he's like, let me dial it back a second. <laughs> yeah, I was like, the funniest? Oh, in Kansas. But, I mean, Kansas has... There were some people there, there yeah. a few. I mean, who's... I mean... Yeah, there were so, We had some people come out I guess that's a fuck you to Chris Porter, I well, guess, Well, Porter's... Right? Yeah, Porter... Well, Porter's great. I mean, if it wasn't for Porter, I would have never... I, I, it would have taken a lot longer for me to get out on the road. He was the first person to take me out and let me start hosting at some clubs for him out on the road. And that was a weird setup, too, because I saw... Well, so that was 20... What was 2016? I had seen Lund at City O City because we were in town for the String Cheese incident at... Uh, First yeah, bank AJ, center. huge fucking hippie, by the yeah. way. String cheese. He goes uh, every year. Every year. For I, three nights. Yeah, three nights, and, probably. And then sits at a sober table. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I volunteer a lot at the sober table for people that are chomping at the bit. So if you're one of the ten people that doesn't do drugs at these concerts... <laughs> And it's, you're surrounded by so, all these people on drugs, and you're like, holy shit. Holy uh, shit. Why am I fucking here? Why the fuck am I here? They actually have a table with AJ yeah. at it. Well, <laughs> no, it's not just me. <laughs> it's but just it was, fucking AJ at a table alone, and they and underneath there's a sign that says, not having fun? Not, and then I just <laughs> pop out and go, I'm here too. <laughs> Oh, you want to do drugs? I'll tickle you. I, stop tickling me. I don't you, want to do drugs anymore. You, you want to do drugs? We have a chair you can spin around yeah. in. I'll spin you around and you can get up and run around back in the, back to the string cheese noodling. Huh? Oh. You want to do a spin and listen yeah. to some noodles? A little spin time? <laughs> oh, God. So, but, but yeah, we were in town for their New Year's run. And then we decided we hung out in Boulder and... Um, yeah, I can't even remember why we were at City O City. I think we went to the too Denver... much fun. No, we went to the Denver Art Museum, okay. and then I was showing someone the the vegan restaurant, and it was Nathan and a bunch of people. Someone just that you on the street. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was uh, Marciana's cousin. Okay. Uh, Joe and so we all went and went in there. Hey, and Joe, then... you know what you really got to see in Denver? Yeah. <laughs> The string they make they make food without meat. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, I saw him and it was interesting because he it was he was like, "Why are you here?" And I was like, "Oh, we're hanging out, doing this." And he goes, "And I was like, I love the city." And it was literally three months after that that I got the call. And he goes, "Would you like to? Would you be interested in moving to Denver? I have a friend who needs a roommate." Did you tell him that you were thinking about moving here, or was he just like, you know what? Do you know who liked our city? (laughs) AJ Finney liked our city. And you know what? Zach needs a roommate. Maybe I'll put him in contact with someone who likes... The city. Likes the city. Yeah. No, I I think I had mentioned that I, for a long time, had wanted to relocate out here. Um, But obviously didn't have the means, didn't know how I was going to do it. So I was just kind of leaving it up to the universe and... uh, Yeah, what crystals did you have in your pocket that day, AJ? (laughs) You know, there... (laughs) They're definitely, I don't know if I had crystals in my... I you mean, had fucking crystals in your fucking pocket. pocket. <laughs> How, what crystals do you have in your pocket right now? You know, I, it, it's very interesting right now, uh, Tad Uncomfortable. I have none. There's what? none in my pocket It's our right first now. day of podcasting? First you podcast. didn't put any fucking crystals in your pocket? <clears throat> no, because this pocket and these pants have a giant hole in them, and I kept losing my crystals. And uh, it's, it's, it's just... You're kind of losing your crystals bad. out of the hole in <laughs> your pocket. Yeah. Do you know what'll put holes in your pocket, I've heard? I know, it's fucking crystals. Yeah. It's the raw quartz crystals <laughs> that's digging a hole in the pocket. But you gotta have quartz if you're gonna be balanced, right? It's, what happens if you don't have any quartz in there? You see how this podcast is going? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I was terribly uncomfortable when everything started unveiling, and I was like, why am I so sensitive? And I'm like, I'm not grounded. Yeah. Well, fuck. Yeah. But then Nathan called me, and he said, uh, would you be interested? And I was like, yeah, let me think about like it. Like how he propositioned you. He's like, just as like a little middleman. Like, He's I like, got hey, a, hey, I got a guy. I got a guy. That, I got a room guy. Yeah. Are you still looking for a room and a place? Because I know a person. Also at the time, AJ has a wife. Yeah, that's, yeah, have, still have, still have a wife. Yes. We were, we'd been married. Well, man, way to ruin the fucking suspense for everybody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you hear how, how afraid he was to, to let that reverberate around the universe that he was wifeless, Marciana? <laughs> he was, he was worried uh, that there would just be. Meat on the bone just right meat, away. Too I much. Think. Just too much. <laughs> just just hot farmers' daughters looking Ooh. for to skin a hog. Yeah, wow. Well, if you're uh if you're out there listening, that's right. AJ is off the market. If all that crystal pocket talk got yeah. you a little excited, crystal. cool it down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But uh That's the last thing I need is odd Facebook messages just going, Hey, I heard you're you had a wife. What happened? Like that's that's what I need. Before AJ killed his wife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. All right. Um. So yeah. So then we we had a call. Yeah. Did Nathan introduce us like via text message? I think he maybe just sent me your number and he's like, "Hey, give this guy a call." Yeah, I can't remember if we spoke right away or if you sent me. I remember getting images of the room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we may have spoke first. The, I think what the interesting thing was for me was when I was talking to Nathan, I just assumed because this came out of nowhere, I had plenty of time. Like somebody was planning to move. They were looking for a place. And this was March. And it might have been the second week of March. And I was like, well, when do I need to let you know? And he goes, as soon as possible. And I was like, well, when do they need someone to move in? And he goes, April. And I was like, that's in two weeks. And he goes, yeah, just let me know. And I was like, <laughs> this is, I I have a wife, I have two dogs, um, but, I, but I didn't want to turn it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had. And so. But you have two new dogs. Yeah. All right. And so I told, uh, I told Nathan, I was like, yeah, let me think about it. I'm definitely interested. I just need to obviously talk to the wife and find out if this is something that would be plausible. Yeah, and how did that talk go? Uh, well, I went home, I sat her down on the bed and I was like, there's a lot of tough runs in here. And, uh, I just need you to know that I'm moving to Denver. Yeah. Give her a nice enough. little light tap. <laughs> 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 no. Um, so she knew how much that I had loved it out here. And honestly, the, the growing comedy community out here is so fascinating and it's, it's amazing. So I sat down and I talked to, uh, I talked to Marciana and I was like, Hey, I would like to go to Denver. And see if the city's a good fit. Try it out. If it's not, then I can always come back. But what do you think about moving to Denver? And she said, and I will never forget it, you can go, but I can't. And then I went, I just remember thinking, well, I mean, I have anxiety issues and I deal with that. But, I mean, I don't I don't need a caretaker always. I can handle this, right? <laughs> like, and that's what I, when I realized that normal people don't question right away. They don't go, I can do this. Can't I? She's like, yeah, you can do it, but your handler won't be there. Right, right. Yeah. Are you trained for this match? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, well, I think, gosh, I, I it might have been less than a week when we made the decision to at least move forward with talking what, with you. And what were some things you were worried about? Moving, oh, uh, I, how many miles is it? 600 miles? Dude, probably, yeah. 600 miles, moving into a city where I knew people, which was nice. So you're in the top 10 percentile of people. 80% of people live within 100 miles of where they grew up. And then there's like 10% that live a little farther. And then another 10% that live over 500. So you're in a, you're in a freaky, for someone with anxiety, Yeah, it's a bold move. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> it was a pretty... Yeah, it was a very bold move. It's the biggest thing I've ever done. Um, and I I see it as almost like moving away to college, which was late. Yeah, because you were 38, 37, uh, yeah. 38? Yeah, I think about 38. Because yeah. I turned 40 here, yeah. Ugh, God. 
just that idea of realizing your age at some point when you just go, oh, 44. Death is a coming. <laughs> oh, death is coming for you. Oh, but maybe it'll be nice. <laughs> I didn't even know what that button did. You were just like, death is a coming. And I hit it. And I was like, ah, some people welcome death. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, depending on the day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Definitely some days I'm like, you know, today wouldn't be a bad day yeah. for it to happen. Yeah. But, but I think there was, I mean, obviously there's always that weird stuff where you go to, I go to a new city um, and it just doesn't work out. Like then there's, I think internally the the easiest thing is like the failure of just not being able to do something. God, that's that sucks. Yeah. You know. Um, but what were, did you have concern about? At all about bringing someone in that you had not met? Not really. Okay. Uh, my concern at the time was that uh, I was paying a lot more for this house than I wanted to pay. So I was like, I need to get someone in here to pay some stuff. Some things I thought that maybe would have been weird because I, you know, uh, AJ uh, doesn't drink and... Uh, how long have you been sober? Seven years? Uh, no, no. Eight, ten? Eight, nine. Yeah, it's going on nine. Uh, yeah, eight years at the beginning of this year. So I'm going, I'm moving closer to nine. So yeah, and I was at a point with my alcohol where I was getting better at drinking. Yeah. But I was a little worried that maybe that would be a problem. Like my first concern was like, all right, you're sober, but I'm going to smoke weed in the house all the time. Yeah. So like, are you cool with that? And you're so, like, yeah, yeah, you know, you can smoke weed in the in the house, you're like, you're, I think you even said to me, you're like, you're not going to be like smoking it in my room, are you? And I'm like, no, I think your room will be your space, AJ. <laughs> that's, but, such uh, a, that's such a fucking me thing. It's yeah. so unfortunate. Well, and then, and then we had to have a talk too, where I was like, Hey, I heard you're a hippie and stuff. Well, uh, or maybe the set came later, but I had to be like, yeah, that fucking, uh, that smell, that, that Paula Santo. Wood. <laughs> what are you burning uh, in there? Yeah. Paul Santo, by the way, if you don't know this, is kind of like cilantro for a lot of people. <laughs> you either really like the smell of it, or to me, it smells like electrical wires that's... wrapped in hair and lit on fire. It literally smells like an electrical fire that's being fueled by burning hair. And it smells fucking horrible to me. Yeah, and I could see how that would be terrifying, especially given the, the house that we were living in. Yeah, like it's this house. It's an old house. Yeah. Any electrical thing that would go down and then dog hair. Like all that is what probably the beginning of a fire is gonna smell like. Yeah, definitely. And meanwhile, I was trying to just ward off evil. Yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, you were just worried about the ghosts, because this house is from the early eighteen hundreds. So he's like, Well <laughs> Well, thank God you let me burn it once. You know, so I could at least ward off the evil spirits. Yeah. How am I ever going to sleep now? I can ward off the evil spirits that live in the pine tree yeah. behind the house. <laughs> but, uh, by uh, the way, I think that's kind of a fun thing about this podcast, maybe, is that AJ really is into a lot of that shit. And uh, I won't say that I think it's stupid. <laughs> 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 because... I think if you really hate on that stuff, that you're just like no fun, you know. Like well, if you and, and there's some of it that I do believe in, like you know, like oh, I give aliens. I've seen that shit. I, I yeah. give aliens. I had a I I saw a ghost once, so I kind of believe in those. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, I look at it the same way as like a sober guy, right? So as a sober guy, like I come in here and I'm like, are you gonna be drinking all the time? Like what a dick. Yeah. Like it's it's not me to like that's your life. You yeah. do what you want to do. Have fun. Yeah, and I mean really, I only peed on you one time. Oh, yeah. That was... <laughs> and I, you know, I, I've thought about that day so many times and I've, I've looked back at the things I've done and I'm like... What are you thinking about coming. in that day? My penis? Oh, <laughs> I thought it, it was such a... So, okay. This is... We're going to be all over the place with this episode, but I woke up and at this point, Marciana had been here so we're flashing way forward but i yeah woke let, up. let's go back let's go back actually i feel like we can't we can't yeah this are is we jumping around too much way too much i think 
All right, where were we? Fucking, if oh this, yeah, talking. You aren't even here yet. No, we were talking about, like, well, yeah, your concerns man. were whether or not I was drinking. Yeah. Uh, or whether or not I was going to have a problem with Peace the Peace stories to come. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um, uh, oh, and then, yeah, we talked on the phone. And I think oh, we, yeah. we literally talked <laughs> once for 30 minutes and had kind of a, I think we had a good chat. Yeah. I think it was just, like, I think because we're both comics, there's something happens when you meet people, and you just go, "Oh, what do you do? Oh, who do you know? What's going on?" Yeah, we're like, "Oh, those are friends that we have that are in common," and it's like, "Okay, this guy won't slit my throat at night." Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, but uh, could. May I don't know if I'd have the. I don't think I could slit a person's throat. No, but I feel like you would be worried about someone slitting your throat. Oh yeah, no, very much so. Yeah, yeah very much so. I. Yeah. I had this weird thing today where um, you had asked me to bring all the, like, bring as much equipment as I had over to get it together. And when I got here, I was like, I don't have the task cam. And you're like, that's cool. But I spent 30 minutes digging for it. And at one point, Marciana goes, I think you brought it somewhere. And I wish this wasn't true. I heard that and I was like, I don't remember bringing it anywhere. And then my (laughs) thought went, so you sold it? Is that that's what you did? I was on the road. You got mad at me, and you sold it because you're like, "Well, you're not going to do a podcast. You've been trying to do this. How long have you had it? Eight years? Fuck you. You're not. I'm going to sell this. You won't even recognize it." Yeah, she spent it on dog toys that they already chewed up. Right, and ate right, you're even right. Home. She's like, "Ha ha, this doesn't even exist." Yeah, and then halfway through that thought, I came back forward, and she goes, "What are you thinking about?" And I was like, "I don't think I brought it anywhere." Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I learned a long time ago because as soon as I can't find anything ever, my first thing that I jump to is, who the fuck stole this? Right. (laughs) It's so weird. I got, so as, like, I got COVID, um, I had it uh, like a couple of weeks ago, and a friend that I work with had it. She went to Iceland, and then she picked it up there, and so she was out of work. Oh. We went back to work on the same day. I didn't know it was. Bjork uh, variant. Yeah, Bjork made. <laughs> and literally, I the first thing I saw, or I said when I saw her, I was like, hey, how are you? And she goes, it's good to be back. And I was like, would you crawl in my window and touch my face while I was sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, why would I do that? And I was like, I don't know, but you had it before me, so clearly you're the one that gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, two strange folks moving in together. And then my uh, brother uh, also was living here at the time, which I don't even think you talked to my brother. Did you? On the phone? Oh, no. I, so I didn't Did realize... I even tell you about him, or did he just, like, come out of his uh, room like a little troll just like... out here, and you're like, oh, wow, there's another human here. I'm like, what's this guy doing? Just living on fucking milkshakes? Yeah, I think I, I think I, because I met... My brother is literally the ideal <laughs> roommate that you, if you have a roommate, I think he's about as good as it gets. He's, dude, he's clean, uh, he, uh, he spends, he basically leaves his room to heat up food in a microwave on paper yeah. plates. And, uh, and yeah. And other than that, yeah. he's pretty much in his room and then he works a ton. And, yep. uh, so he's not home a lot. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great roommate and, yeah. a, and a nice, nice fun guy. Yeah. You know? It took me, he's really, Jason's fairly quiet and it took me a minute to try to start cracking that code. Yeah. And then eventually we would have like, I don't know, if we had a 20 minute kitchen situation where we were like, I want to say we were bouncing back and forth, but it usually would be my me winging something out and him laughing. And I felt like Jason's laugh a lot of times was like, that's good for like a five minute conversation. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I was making, I was living on bean and cheese quesadillas. And he came home, and I was like, you want some quesadillas? And we just started talking that way. You definitely didn't really know how to cook, I don't think, when you moved here. I I had very few things that I cooked. Yeah. It was very limited. But I was above frozen burritos. You were. You were. Outside of the microwave, but not really. uh... I remember a lot of uh, Chipotle Oh, a lot uh, runs for you when you yeah. first moved in. There was a lot of uh, was, a lot of burrito time. But. Also coming from like the country where you don't have anything, so it's a lot of home cooked stuff. And then I'm like, oh, I can just walk down the street and get sandwiches. The country where you don't have anything is that no. India? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
in a rural area. <laughs> <laughs> we had Hardee's. A part is, of the country. Yeah, a part of a part of a country. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, yeah, Hardee's. So, yeah. yeah, and then you moved here, and you're like, what the fuck? I can't find Hardee's. And yeah. I was like, it's called Carl's Jr. <laughs> you go, what? <laughs> Why the fuck is Hardee's called Carl's Jr. here? I don't know. In Mexico, it's called Carlos Jr. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Carlos Jr. <laughs> so yeah, then two weeks later, AJ left his wife to move yeah. across the country without his dogs. <laughs> it sounds into this house built in the 1890s that we're sitting in right now, still yeah. in the kitchen. It's... I haven't made it out of this fucking place yet. It sounds like I abandoned my family. Where I was like, hey, I've got to... there's prospects. Uh, so if it sounds like AJ abandoned his family, it's because he abandoned <laughs> his family. I, you know, I think when you are with a family and then you move over 600 miles away to Is live that... in a different house without your family, well, that's called abandoning your but... family, especially when it's a conscious decision. So I think, but, but what about if it's a, like approved, if it, like I had a note Basically, like she gave me the the go ahead. Just because you were so insufferable that Marciana wanted you to abandon your family oh, yeah. for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, that might be partly true. Like just the points of like, I can't deal with these panic attacks. I want to send him out. I feel like your mental health is way better than it, than it was. I feel like coming yeah. here actually helped. I don't know. I think so. I think, uh, yeah, th- sometimes I think with It's either that or that thing you have wrapped around your hair. I think oh, that might God have helped your mental it. health. I I, that thing is <laughs> kidding. That's a fucking... It's turning into a dreadlock. I gotta fit... They, yeah, it's gross. It's a, <laughs> it's a goddamn friendship bracelet rat tail that a lady put in my head at a what, festival. What culture are you fucking exploit... Or uh, what's it I, called? Co-opting or... Yeah, no, I think uh, I'm creating my own culture with this one. Okay, I'm sure, that's what every white person with dreadlocks says. <laughs> also, I, I don't think it's... I don't think this... I don't think you can add the S here. I think this is person with dreadlock. Yeah, white person with dread, dreadlock <laughs> wrapped in thread with... It's a with with eyelet, with oh, eyelet it at the base, so you dude. can so you can hang different crystals on yeah. it. Huh? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> she wanted me. She tried to sell me a, a turtle's foot to hang on this thing. And a I was real like, turtle's a foot. A real turtle's foot. And she was like, "Would you like this?" And I was well, like, "I can't. I don't well, think I can do that." Well, okay, but there had to come a pitch at it where she was like, "Based on this part of your chakra <laughs> being <laughs> off, you know what really cure that is the fucking foot I cut off of a turtle to sell." Where did you get this done at? I got it at the at a music festival. Of course you did. But, <laughs> but we all knew it was at a music festival. I, well, I was like, it's either at a music festival or a music festival on a beach. But yeah, but uh, yeah, where? What music festival? So this was at the Hillberry Music Festival. It's kind of a bluegrass festival in, in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. I uh, I host. I'm one of the MCs down there every year. Um, super fun. The lady was super nice, and I. I saw her doing it, and she was like, normally we put them right behind your ear. And I'm like, nah. I was like, how about a rat tail? That'd look pretty tough, right? (laughs) (laughs) Does it come out of the center back? Dude, yeah, it's right in the center. And she's like, I've never really done a rat tail. Holy shit, it is a full rat tail. And now, so that thing, that little noodle, yeah, that little noodle goes up to... You have a dreadlock this Dude, big around. It it's, got girthy right at the end. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's fat. You need to wrap it because I can see it. Yeah. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, though. If you had a turtle foot on there, though. Change everything? Whole life better? That's the problem with most of the things I've done in my life and the decisions. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the problem. That's why these things didn't work out. I yeah, didn't you didn't buy the foot. upsell of the turtle foot right. attached to the fucking rat tail. I could have been Donatello. Okay, Jesus Christ. So, all right. Um, so, I, we're all over the place. So, I hadn't even moved in yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't even 
Carrie Moore out this woman who tried to sell you a turtle foot, and then we can go. So she go back because this isn't fucking up the linear storyline here. This is just like this is some shit. Because people can see this rat tail yeah, if they're watching the video, that. and they need to know about it. So. so there were, oh, God. There's so many things in my life that, like, I am equally, like, excited, proud of, I stand behind, and am, can just be filleted open with embarrassment. This is one of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this, all of the gems have fallen off. So I had an arrow to remind me which direction to go. Which, unfortunately, it was always pointing Which was down. made out of what? Uh, this was, like, I, I probably... Caught. You had an arrow pointing down. She knew it was down when she put it on there. <laughs> right. Maybe it was up. I don't remember. But it was it was weaved in here. You sure it wasn't so... reminding your wife where to go? Oh! <laughs> Zingers! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably more appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, um, yeah, so there was an arrow, something that had a dragonfly on it, because she was like, you know, dragonflies represent change, and... <laughs> <laughs> so you needed she, to get down she, with the change. I had to get down with the change. Uh, Which is also, you know, she, something that... If you're begging for money, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> which most of the people getting this done, that's how they paid with it. So also, course, it's money they spanged. <laughs> um... But the, the funny thing about these gems I had was she gave me a jar, and they had, and she goes, dig around and pick a few out, and I'll put them in there. And I was like, okay. Uh, I was like, is it extra? And she goes, no. She goes, I'm going to do that for free. So she was going to bedazzle this thing. You okay. Know? So we had the arrow. Uh, we had the dragonfly. Uh, and then I had that uh, that hoppy, that hopey hand. You know that weird thing that looks like this, and it, like, swirls? Yeah, another uh, culture you're appropriating. For. Yeah, none of it, none of it worked together. And I don't know if she was like, "This guy doesn't really know what he's doing when he's picking out his gems." She put him in, and then she, she was, was like, like, "Holy shit! What we just put in him yeah. there is going to make him pick up golfing." Yeah. <laughs> and then I just imagine not with a frisbee either, with right. a fucking club. She's yeah. And, and this rich guy's white gonna, men. This guy's gonna be a lawyer. Yeah. Um. But I just imagine after putting all those in, I was like, how's it looking? And Marciana's like, it's looking good. And she goes, I'm going to add a little thing, an eyelet at the bottom to hang stuff on it. Would you be interested in that? I'm like, yeah, let's do it up. And I just imagine at one point she's braiding it and she looks over at this turtle's foot that has never sold. <laughs> and she went, How you know, big is a turtle foot, by the way? Oh, dude, this thing is about like that. Did so, you ask her how she got the foot? No, but she did put it on. And I'm going to tell you now, when she put that on there, it was like, you know, that ball and chain that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it like just. You could learn, like, the martial art of, like, Eddie on Tekken and fucking kill yeah. people with your hair braid. Right. At one point, maybe that's where I you fucked could up. Learn, learn I could have, like. And, uh, and kill people. Just going, like, dance. Yeah. And they go, oh, fuck, that's a turtle foot guy. Yeah, Shouldn't have stole his wallet. When you felt that way, you were like, well, not only is that the weight of a turtle foot, but that's the weight of a lifelong yeah. commitment yeah. to uh, <laughs> capoeira and Brazilian dance fighting. I'm not ready for this responsibility. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then taking it off and handing it to her like this. <laughs> not yet, ma'am. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um,. But yeah, so she put it on, and I felt the weight tug on it, and I was like, "I can't." Yeah, the weight that's, of a that's too much. the weight of a dead, peaceful animal yeah. a turtle. And she goes, "Well, she goes, it'll be here if you want it." Like, which is also telling me, like, why didn't you just give it to me if you can't sell the guy? So thing? one of the home bums when I was homeless, uh, she used to just like fucking take everything off of dead animals. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, like if if you were driving and there was like oh a dead thing on the a bloated dead thing, she'd be like, oh, I want that thing's skull. And she would, like, hop out, cut its head off, and rip its fucking skull out. Yeah, it was, uh... Yeah. She had a lot of, uh... When they came to... They came to stay with me uh, later on when I was housed, and they were not, and I was like, hey... No bringing any dead things in my house. <laughs> <All right. laughs> like, no skulls, yeah, no bloated no, things. No, no roadkill that has God knows what Sort of, you know, like when my buddy called me and he was like, we've got scabies. I'm like, well, yeah, maybe it's from a dead <laughs> critter, yeah. you know, 
Maybe that's what happens when you cut a skull off of something. Yeah, that, maybe. That's bloated up. Maybe it was possum 14 that you <laughs> decided that you needed your 14th possum skull. And what would she do with these things? Uh, she would sell it. I don't know. She had jars of teeth. I don't, what? Probably some sort of witchcraft. I don't know. Oh. I, uh, I, I hate the fact that when you said, oh, it's probably witchcraft, it turned. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope. Yeah. If you I, have a jar of teeth and you're not doing witchcraft, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with yeah. you? Like, you need to get those teeth, someone who needs those teeth, to craft. He's got a, he's just a crazy person with a, like, a ball jar of teeth going, one day I'm going to have a baby and it's going to want to rattle. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, you're moving here. I'm moving here, yeah. Well, <laughs> Victor Rattlehead. Uh, um, yeah, so moving here. Turtles. Um, we made the made the decision. I I feel like once everything went down, I only had like three weeks or something like that before we moved. Because I think I got here in it was like the first or second week of April. Yeah. And uh, I remember I was here for one day, and the next day it snowed. So it started snowing, and um, yeah, it was the first time. I don't think I'd I had, had had experienced that at that time of year. Also, not understanding the arid climate out here. I kept, I was mesmerized that like it was snowing, but I could wear shorts and it wasn't that big of a deal. We have nice weather out here in Colorado. That's how you can tell we're old men. Yeah. Eventually this just evolved into us being like, you know what? You can wear shorts when it's snowing. (laughs) It's like, so they they listened to the first few episodes and they're like, it started well. And then they just called it the weather report. (laughs) So then you just moved out here. You had a, a car. You just packed your car up with shit. Yeah. And then did you... Jeez, did you go dude. buy a futon or what was no, your, how did the you? the futon came. I packed it. Into your this car? This is the, yeah. Dude, I, I've got to pee. Is there a way to pause this? You've got to pee? I do have to pee. Uh, there is not a way to pause okay. this. Okay, then I'll just hold but on But you know it. what's fun? Is you can pee. I'll just. And you can take the microphone with you. Uh, I, I don't know if that'll be. But you have to pee in the dark because the, no. because the cord. Can't. The cord that powers I, the lights in my bathroom. I will end up peeing on the mic. Sit down. Oh, God. Sit down and and put your penis between your legs. He's back. Success. He drained it. He pissed. <clears throat> I yeah. gave him some green tea earlier. I should have known. Yeah. He run right through you. But, all right. You packed your car. Put your futon in there. Yeah, it's it, you know what's interesting when you when you do that when you're moving across the country and a person like I'm a collector of things you know that I'm sure we'll get into it as this podcast yeah continues. like the fact that he didn't buy that fucking <laughs> turtle foot blows my mind yeah. <laughs> like I'm surprised so, it's not fucking hanging up in a weird place that you can't even see is good like it's probably I'm surprised it's not hanging over a doorway <laughs> to like uh, so that you get turtle energy every time you walk through it. but. Uh, <laughs> The bad part about it, I'm laughing, but as you're talking about it, I'm like, God, I should have done it. <laughs> if I, I had turtle energy, the year would have been so much better. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, the things you choose are, it's like, you really go, I can only put so much in here. These are the things I need to survive. I can only bring my small crystals, not any of my right. big pieces. Right. What is the most important? And those things I found were... Uh, my futon, <laughs> yeah, which I'd been toting around since I was 16 years old, which yeah, Marciana full was... of cum. Like when I helped him move that thing up the stairs, is the heaviest futon <laughs> between the amount of dead skin and cum in that thing. Yeah, the amount of squirt juice that thing was fucking heavy. Marciana got so mad, she kept going, "We got to get rid of it." And I was like, "Nah." The more you want me to get rid of it, the more I'm kind of like, eh, it's, "It's fine." And well, she was like, "I'm tired of sleeping on the." The souls of lovers past. <laughs> yeah, souls more like fucking butts. <laughs> yeah. Butts and, and pussies. Like butts and puss. Yeah. But then you're probably like, well, yeah, but you know, <laughs> you could leave someday and yeah. I'm going to need this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little uh, butt tap. And little butt tap. You, you still have it, don't you? I still have the frame. She did. <laughs> she, oh, so she's she'll she'll allow the thing that supported yeah. a mattress of lovers past, but yeah, yeah, it's um, 
Yeah, but something the, you can actually, you know, there is something about the ability to wipe cum and squirt <laughs> off of metal versus getting it out of fabric. Right, right, but you know, I've talked to so many people, and when I've told them about the futon, uh, I've been like, I still have it, and they're like, that's gross. And I'm like, well, I have the frame, and they're like, that's better. Yeah, it is. So, I don't know. So you got your futon in there. I got the futon in there, uh, the bare essential on clothing. God, I think I brought up. There wasn't a lot, and it was surprising how freeing I felt for a little bit. And then I started collecting the crystals again. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how fast you accumulated a room full of shit. Like you showed up with nothing. I literally think too that one of the first <laughs> things you did, like you came downstairs and you're like, "Hey, man, uh, is it cool if I put neon stars up on the ceiling?" Oh god, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Oh, God, I forgot about that. I put... <laughs> I put... Do you mind if I put neon stars up on the ceiling and burn some of this wood that smells like hair? <laughs> no on the hair, yes on the stars. I think you did just burn that wood, and I had to go up there and be like, hey, uh, yeah, I'm that asshole. Yeah, I, I can't handle this. You're not the only one. My father-in-law <laughs> had a, My father-in-law had a real problem with it. He's like, what are you, burning my goddamn house down? He wasn't like that, but it was it implied. Yeah. Um... But yeah, oh. that's me giving it up for your father. In law. <laughs> God, I forgot about those stars. Yeah, I. I remember Marciana the first time she came out here and saw it. She goes, "What are you, a fourteen-year-old girl?" Because <laughs> I just put those plastic glow-in-the-dark stars all over the ceiling, and I don't know why. You are a fourteen-year-old girl inside, always. Yeah, I don't know. We all are. We can have feelings now. We can. <laughs> because it's not the 70s it's anymore. not the 70s anymore. It's not the 80s. It's not the 80s. But yeah, when we got here, I think I pulled up front and I only had what was in the car and then pulled a couple things out and I remember freaking out internally but trying to trust everyone because I had never, we'd never met. Yeah, he was worried, I think, that I was going to steal his things. Yeah. Steal his cum-soaked futon and it was his fucking so, six pairs of clothes. It's so embarrassing, but I'm I, like, I'm open to talk about it. It's just that, like, I remember Jason was like, I can help you. And he just grabbed the futon mattress, and I was like, I hope that makes it to the room and not his. Why would they <laughs> invite me here and then just take my things and bully the shit out of me? They're brothers. Like, I'm the third wheel. <laughs> yeah, my brother's strong as fuck, too. So he's just like, yeah, yeah. fucking, I'll one, I'll one arm this futon to yeah. come into this house. And then when he started walking it up the stairs, I, was, I remember just going, I think that's where I live. I hope that's where I live. <laughs> <laughs> he's just taking it. He goes, Here's your futon, hippie, and just chucks it out the window. And I'm like, what's that? He goes, you live in the chicken coop. <laughs> There's a chicken coop in the backyard. I think it was the weirdest thing I'd ever gone through, like coming out here, like trying to unfortunately be like brave and constantly telling myself that I'm like, I can do this. This is going to be fine. Like, why would a person with a lot of anxiety that sometimes just levels them, not just move hundreds of miles away in a house they've never seen yeah. with two people they've never met. Like, what could go wrong there? Unlike crypto, uh, fortune does <laughs> favor the bold. Uh, or the, what the fuck is that? What is that shit they made up to fucking pyramid scam all those people? Oh, I don't know. Fortune favors the bold or something. Oh, to get them to buy <laughs> cryptocurrency? Yeah, I think it was like Matt Damon. He's like, fortune favors the bold. We're going to take all your fucking money. <laughs> Matt Damon, crypto. <laughs> yeah. Because I know that whenever I'm thinking about investing financially, that's who I want to see is Matt yeah. Damon. But, yeah, uh, goodwill hunting. Oh, God. We're definitely cutting the part of this podcast where we talked about yeah. crypto. All right. That's pretty crazy that you decided to fucking just do that. I was at home base. Yeah. And so. it's still like, and there were so many people that would go, oh, so you're new out here. Welcome. And they're like, uh, yeah. And I'd be like, occasionally people go, aren't you married? And I'm like, yeah. And they go, where's your wife? And I'm like, back home, but we're fine. And they're like, really? No, I had to explain that to people a lot, too. And I think the easiest way that I always explained it is uh, AJ is uh, living out here to see if he likes Colorado. His wife has a business back in Missouri, yeah. uh, if you could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> she was a... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, so... She had a she had a, a profitable business as a massage therapist and a Reiki master. Yeah, and so she was teaching classes and going through all these different things. And she had 
Wonderful. She was also getting a Reiki certification at the time. Yeah. Because I remember that uh, we'd be like hanging out in the kitchen like we are now, having a good talk, and you'd be like, hey, man, I got to go upstairs because my wife is going to do Reiki uh, on me from Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? You're like, yeah, yeah, long distance, man. You can do it. You yeah. can do it from where anywhere, yeah. dude. Like, yeah, she was. Um, I mean, sometimes it definitely helped. It, it, it's weird, but I think when when you're connected with people, it doesn't really matter. I think there's that energy, but it is bizarre when it's just said out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, dude. We've spent a lot of time talking about the turtle foot in your yeah. hair. I, nobody's like surprised at all that you and your <laughs> wife are doing long distance Reiki. Yeah. Oh wait, you're gonna do magic? What? Tell me what it was like though. Let's say we're doing long distance Reiki right now, and you're it's you're like, Marciano, and I'm like, hey, honey, sorry I abandoned you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, sorry it, I abandoned you, honey. It's like. Let's practice your long distance magic yeah. on me. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess for the most part, it's like, uh, it's like meditating with someone, but like you're having tough times. And I would explain like, yeah, I'm trying to get used to this. And then somehow energetically, she would just go and yeah, tap she, me on the side. Just give me the little, attaboy. She'd give you an attaboy. Long distance attaboy. What's the long distance attaboy sound like? Like, is she making noises when this is happening? Are you guys on the no. phone when this is happening? Or are you just, like, no, going to sit and set in a tent? She's not, like, on the other end of the line, like, oh, <laughs> no, <it's- laughs> feel the vibration of my voice, no, AJ. No way. Orange chakra. <laughs> <laughs> if she did that, we would be, we'd have a fucking mansion right now. How, how do you describe wealth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wealth in 13 books. Yeah. We'd have a, a mansion. We'd have a mansion. And Charles I'd, Mansion. And I'd, I'd have a sport utility vehicle. <laughs> I remember they were like guided meditations. She would walk through what I needed to do. And then there were like talking about like, hey, what direction are you facing right now? Do you know? <laughs> it's so... <laughs> As I say it out loud, I'm like, I, I do believe in this shit. I feel like this whole podcast was just trying to get me to go, I believe in this shit. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I believe it. I'm sorry. me here you ever jerk it <laughs> <laughs> like reiki jerk yeah, like a reiki jerk like, <laughs> was she ever like to, to know you're gonna work yeah. on your because there's a chakra in your there's, yeah. a, there's a cock chakra the right cock, chakra. <laughs> we call it the chakra um no i don't think i ever did a reiki jerk I think it's fun to, you know, maybe we can, maybe fun in the part of this podcast, we can set a little goal for each other for the next week. So you and Marcia, I want you to try Reiki Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, report back next report week. Back let, let the Reiki people, jerk? Let, let, our, uh, let our fans know uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it's something that they should try That's possible. With, their, with a lover, you know. Oh, God. Is you it- know, if you report back that it's good, um, you know. Then uh, then then I'll okay try. okay I'll see if it's I'll see if it's worth uh, worthwhile I may I'm not gonna lie there's a good chance I might go hey we uh, we did the podcast <laughs> today and Zach and I were talking and he put up the the idea that we should do a Reiki jerk and she might go I'm moving back to <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. yeah well I don't know why not yeah it's worth a try. I don't know. I, I feel like I kind of ambushed you with them. Like, hey, this is a thing we're doing because I have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. We are at an hour. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had fun. I had fun, too. I like the idea of, like, following our lives together through the adventures we've had. 
Yeah, and then I think the thing that happens to us, no matter what, anytime we talk, is we end up way the fuck. Yeah. All of a sudden, we're in baby teeth rattle land. So. Yeah. Oh, God, that was so funny. So, yeah, I don't know. If you're listening, uh, thank you. Yeah. We're probably going to keep doing this, and uh, we would love for you to keep listening. So. Yeah. And know that it will probably get better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. I'm AJ Finney. I'm Zach Moss. And join us again for the podcast. Reiki jerk. <laughs> jerk into some Reiki. Reiki jerkin. Jerkin. Teeth rattle. Reiki jerkin. Baby teeth in a jar. 14 possum heads. <laughs> 14 possum heads. Are they going to throw my futon out the fucking window the second they take it up the stairs, up the stairs? All right, we'll see you all, all next right. week. Bye.